Van, uh, you're going to be there for a while. You've got other countries to go to. But tell us about this. Uh, all of these people come in. Uh, they, they're happy to come in, but then they don't assimilate. This is not the first time I've heard that. Good to have you on the program. What can you tell us? Yeah. Yeah, Steve, uh, you know, it's it's the that way across Europe. And we're actually we're starting here. I'm in Bastad, Sweden. Uh, that was in Stockholm, just across the, the country. And but you're seeing that all over this country. This is a country that used to be uh, lowest crime rate uh, in Europe, one of the lowest in the world. And now because of their immigration policies, because of what they've invited in, uh, the snakes they've invited in, as uh, if you remember President Trump's uh, analogy of the, the woman inviting the snake in, you're seeing that happen here in Sweden. It's really the death of the culture here. Uh, and you and you see that in in place like Stockholm yesterday. What's ironic about that story is it was actually two groups, from what I'm being told, of Eritrean uh, migrants that came over. It was groups that loved the regime, which is ironic. Why would you leave a country if you support the regime? They were the ones that were actually having the festival. And it was the others that fled from the regime who went in and attacked them, basically saying, you know, how dare you? Uh, uh, support that and uh, in in this country that we that we came to and uh, you know just it ju you you see the the impact over 50 injured uh, over a hundred arrested cars burned tents burned uh, and that's what basically this country is invited in and Europe as a whole is invited in. And so we're going to be doing a tour across Sweden. I'm actually going to be linking up with Oscar Blue uh, tomorrow down in France and be doing some work down in France as well. And then heading to different countries across Europe, uh, showing that impact and, and, and showing again, the similarities uh, that the, the fact that the one thing I want to mention is most people in Sweden have no idea what's happening in the United States. And sadly, a lot of them don't actually know what's happening in Sweden. I was talking to some locals uh, and, and when you talk about things like the, number of rapes, women, uh, that, that are occurring every single year. Much of the Sweden news, uh, I'm told, doesn't even report on it. Uh, the, the murder rate has, has skyrocketed. Basically, you know, a place that used to have almost no murders now is, is seeing, you know, murders like, like Chicago and some of these, these uh, immigrant, uh, basically, no-go zones. Uh, just down the way, Malmo is a community where they say there's, there's no-go zones where, you know, if you go in with a sure. camera... Uh, you'll be attacked. If you go in as a woman, it's very likely that you'll be sexually assaulted or raped. Again, none of this is being talked about. And and it's the same thing that we're inviting on our southern border, that that invitation of people that either don't love our country, uh, that don't respect our rule of law or or just don't have the, the time to assimilate or have a background that, you know, we just don't know their background. So it's it's all of that. It's all of that. And ultimately, you see the beauty that I'm at here. We end up destroying paradise.